Another medical news tonight, doctors in Chicago are using a new method to treat patients with corns and calluses. As Catherine Pratt explains, the new treatments could not come at a better time because cold weather and Christmas shopping are very hard on the feet. Laverne McGuckin has a painful callus on the ball of her foot. If it were on top of one of her toes, it would be called a corn. But since it's on the bottom, it's a callus, and it interferes with her shopping. When I go to a mall, I have to take another pair of shoes along to change shoes after about an hour or two. Until now, treatment for corns and calluses meant seeing your podiatrist to have them trimmed or undergoing surgery to remove the bone pressing against the skin that causes pain. But now a new treatment using collagen injections has been approved. This is collagen. It's made from calves hide. And it's the stuff they inject into corns and calluses to form a pad between hard bone and soft tissue. It was approved by the FDA just two weeks ago for this purpose. Dr. Lowell Weil headed up a national study of collagen injections. There were 500 uh, individuals that we looked at from around the United States. We found that 70% of them had their pain relieved in 48 hours and much of their callus diminished within a two to three week period. Collagen injections cost about $300 and must be repeated after six months to two years. For that reason, some doctors prefer surgery, which they say costs about the same in the long run. If you can get a permanent correction, that will last you years and years at a one, you know, one, sh one, one setting. So this is much, it's of much more value. But callous sufferers who make their living on their feet may choose this non-surgical, although temporary, solution. I wanted to uh, go into surgery, and I, being on my feet all the time, a little late, put me back for two or three months, you know, and they had to operate on it. So I figured this is a good way to, easy way out of it. Now, the injections are not recommended for those with diabetes or arthritis or those who might be allergic to collagen. Now, only about 3% are, but you should have a skin test prior to treatment to find out if you're sensitive to the stuff. Those of us who are a little skittish anytime we see a needle ask, is that painful? They said not. Um, it's just a little stick and maybe a little sting while the stuff is being injected. But, you know, that's, that's really tough, deadly skin anyway. So I, I don't think it probably is painful. Okay. Thanks, Thanks, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. When we come back, the